Hey everybody, here we have this Dell Dimension 4600 desktop computer in for service and I'm going to, be, going to be reinstalling Windows on this machine. I also went ahead and installed an additional 512 megabytes of RAM to this computer because it was extremely slow. It only has 256 megabytes of RAM and Windows is a big mess on this computer. So, like I said, I popped the cover off to install the RAM and, and this thing is pretty filthy. This right here, folks, is a prime example of why it is so important to keep your computer cleaned out. So most people don't realize, they, they don't think about it, um, just how important it is to keep your computer cleaned out. I mean, used to be before I got into computers, I never thought of it. It was never a thought across my mind to um, take the side panel off the computer and blow it out once in a while. But um, anyways, here's just a prime example to share with you all the importance of keeping your computer cleaned out once in a while. First off, look at all the dust and the bomb in this thing. Look at all the build up. It's collecting on everything. The PCI card, the bomb in the case, um, all the cables here. It gets better. Have a look here at the um, CPU core. The CPU core intakes air right here and it sucks it through here and blows out the back of the computer. And when it can't get much air, your CPU is going to run much hotter. So it's extremely important to keep everything cleaned out. Like I was saying, when this is this is clogged up, air can't flow, and it's not good. Also, have a look here at the power supply. This intake vent on the power supply is slammed full of dust. I mean, dust makes a, is a good insulating tool. I mean, it'll keep you warm. It's, it doesn't insulate so well, but it'll cause your computer to overheat, and it can cause um, many, many problems with your computer system. Sometimes irreversible problems without major repairs. Now, let's go ahead and have a look at the back of this machine. Have a look at the fans here. Now, the back of it's not, that, not as bad as some I've seen. Here is the exhaust fan for CPU. It's not that bad. Power supply fans getting a pretty good bit though. And I notice here that the USB port, some of the USB ports are um, getting dust in them. And the modem's got a little bit of dust in its um, telephone ports. So I mean it's just, I mean it's not hard at all. Just to keep your computer clean out once in a while. At least every other month I would say is probably a good schedule to do it. All you need is either an air compressor with a um, attachment for blowing out things or you can go to your um, local Walmart or any other electronics supply store and pick up a can of um, compressed air. It looks it's, just, it's more or less an aerosol can with a little straw on the end and you can use it or the air compressor to blow out all the dust which I'll demonstrate here in just a few minutes okay I decided to wait till the next day um, so that way I'll have plenty of light out here so I can see a little better okay it's time to get this thing cleaned out First thing I'll we'll do here is go ahead and pull this um, cover off. And let me tell you, this thing really needs a good cleaning, and it's about to get one right here. One thing to keep in mind is to be careful uh, not to spin the fans too fast because it's not good for them. I mean, there's dust everywhere. So 
But trust me, this isn't as bad as some of the others I've worked on. Okay, it's a whole lot better than it was. And, um, I'll create a separate video clip to show you what this thing looks like on the inside, inside the house, where it's plenty of light. And as an extra bonus, I'm going to blow out a power supply, too. Okay, here's a Best Tech ATX 2B12Z power supply that I recently worked on. And,. It is pretty dang filthy. And, um, I'm gonna blow it out right quick. And let me tell you something about power supplies. Um, if you're gonna work on one, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and clean it out first thing because, um, my work desk was very filthy after working on this thing because I had the um, entire board pulled out of it, everything to replace some capacitors. Just gonna blow it out right quick. All done. <coughs> all it took to clean it out. Okay, I have two more of the same power supplies right here. I just serviced all three of these units um, the other day. I replaced the capacitors. In these things, um, they had a bunch of bad cap zones and, some, and a couple of them had um, bad typos in them, so I went and replaced them. And um, sometimes when you're working on power supplies or any electronic component, when you're messing with solder, in some rare scenarios, if you're not careful, um, or even if you are careful in some cases, you may have um, a tiny little piece of solder become loose or whatever as you're working. I mean, if you ever do any solder work, you understand what I'm talking about. But um, sometimes you may have a, a little chunk of solder. It can be, be very small. Now it just comes stranded and um, sit inside the power supply somewhere on one of the traces. And in some cases, if, if you're not careful, it'll short something out. So basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do it's pretty much the same thing as blowing out a dirty power supply. I'm going to use the compressed air to blow inside the unit. And if there's any loose pieces of solder, it'll blow them out just like blowing out dust. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and grab the attachment here and uh, go ahead and blow these out right quick. Of course, you can say these are already clean. Make sure the camera's... Okay. Like I said, they're already clean. So you're not going to really see any dust come out of them, but um, it's just a preventive measure to um, make sure the power supply is not going to failing from a loose piece of solder. I'm going to repeat the same procedure with this one. Okay, 
now, if there are any loose pieces of solid or stuck inside the power supply from the work I just done to it, they're now blown out in such a way um, it won't cause any shorts. Anyways, that was me blowing out that Dell, and in the next video clip you'll see how it looks after blowing it out, how much cleaner it is. Okay, I just back porch tested all three of those power supplies, and they all tested good, no sparks, no smoke, no explosions. They come on just fine, and all of the voltages turned out just fine on these units, so they're ready to be put back into service. Now let's go ahead and look at that Dell. Machine looks a whole lot better now, than it's considering it's cleaned up. Let's go ahead and have a look here at the CPU heatsink. It can actually get air now. Interesting. Same goes for the power supply. Let's go ahead and look at the back here. Fans are good and clean. All the ports are good and clean. Anyways, that's, that's the importance of keeping your computer cleaned out, and I actually showed you how to do it. It's, it's fairly simple. So, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask.